the lyrical, the living miracle, I'm about to call you Double G right now. <laughs> the, the living miracle, ladies and gentlemen, the professor of poetry. Some of you all were not here when I talked about him a little bit earlier. This brother spent 400 days in the hospital, just got out six months ago. Six months ago, this brother, chest was opened. They performed a heart transplant. He waited for 400 days to get a heart. And this brother is here tonight. This brother is here tonight. This brother right here is here tonight. So happy, man. You know, sometimes it's about the quality of the people that you have, not the quantity of the people that shows up. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, are y'all ready for the next poet? Y'all already know, please put your hands together for the living miracle, Professor Poetry, brother. Friendship. 
The key foundations are trust, commitment, love, and mutual respect. Without God, these ingredients in it, it all it will all come crumbling down like a building with a weak foundation during the earthquake. My dear brothers and sisters, as I stated, as I stated before, the game of love is a mad dog race that requires you to run it with patience. Building the friendship first, then that relationship develop naturally. One of my deepest regrets in life being with the head below my waist instead of the head above my waist. In my attempts to compensate for the constant rejection I endured as a younger man in order to complete for women's attention. Brother, what is your advice on allowing relationships to develop naturally? Find out if y'all are compatible with each other first. Find out if y'all like each other first. Find out whether you share similar interests. Find out where you share similar goals in life. Communicate your wants, needs, and desires constantly. And pay attention and listen on a daily basis to the signs. And watch out for those red flags that might pop up. Go out in several days to see where you want a friendship or pursue a relationship. And meet each other's families and blend in with them. By all means, perform that complete background check. I'm telling you, it's needed now. Because you don't want to end up being involved with a brother or sister who was abusive, controlling, or dealing with serious issues. Being broke, busted, and disgusted, or being with a brother or sister who was totally unequally yoked with you. Spend quality time together. And make sure you have God as the foundation of that relationship. Because you want to make sure that if you want to be with that brother or sister for the rest of your life. And make sure that brother or sister is the one that God has for you. That's that piece, y'all.